everybody. I made it to this pilot in Rome, Texas. And uh, got me a spot. I can't remember if I showed you the load. This is it. I got four sections of eight foot drywall. One of them's got a funky one up top there. So I put three straps on the front section, three straps on the back section, and then two on the middle ones. So, and remember, if you get a live load there and you want plastic over the load before you tarp, you got to ask them. I wish I'd have known that because I, I would feel a lot better if I had plastic on that. Anyway, that's the load, and uh, this is going to Hutto, Texas, which is just north of uh, uh, Austin, Texas. And I've still got about three and a half hours to go. I'm going to leave out. I get my clock back about 4.45 in the morning, so I'm going to get up. Hit the road pretty early, try to get through the Fort Worth traffic uh, before it gets busy. So we'll update you tomorrow. Alright, later. Good morning everybody. It is Thursday morning. I am here at the Pilot in Texas. I forget the name of this town, but uh, it's about 4.30 fixing to do my inspection and hit the road I get my clock back here in about 10 minutes so just getting up and moving around didn't sleep great this uh, this is the first time I've ever stopped at this pilot and uh, there's two problems one is there's a very active railroad track right behind where I'm parked <laughs> um, you know that's not really the, the problem um, you know I, I didn't sleep great uh, up to a point mainly because of this truck that parked beside me I'm gonna I'm gonna let you get a sample of this you know he wasn't parked here when I when I parked here but at some point he showed up I'm gonna get out and just walk beside my truck and let you hear what's parked right beside where I was trying to sleep so you'll know sometimes this is what you have to deal with and you can appreciate the quietness of your Maverick truck you know with the EPU it doesn't have to run like this truck all the time but you know sometimes you get parked by loud trucks like this one of these old Peterbilts but I'm just gonna walk along the side of the truck and let you hear all this noise you can hear that but that's what's parked right beside where my bunk is <laughs> I feel sorry for guys that have to uh, drive trucks like that I mean I I don't see how you sleep in a truck that has to run like that and is that noisy but I guess maybe you get used to it but anyway I'm just showing you that to give you a sense of sometimes that's how how it is usually not um, anyway going to get my inspection done and hit the road heading to Hutto, Texas alright everybody I've just stopped here at this big rest area in, near Salado, Texas just doing a little uh, load check um, I'm only about 35 minutes from my customer making a fresh cup of coffee yeah just doing a load check this is the second one I've done so far you know the thing about drywall is 
it's pretty trouble free you know it rides pretty good don't typically get any movement out of it occasionally you know you have to go through and maybe tighten. like last night when I stopped I was able to tighten maybe three or four of the straps you know one or two notches so but the tarps good bungees are good everything's fine so I'm gonna go ahead and get my boots and my safety shirt on so I'm ready when I get to my customer hopefully it won't take long see you there okay everybody I've arrived at my customer here in Hutto Texas D and W uh, supply or building materials something like that and I'm in the process of getting unloaded he's already taken off the front section from both sides and I think he's already gotten that weird top one up there so shouldn't be too long don't have any idea where I'll go from here but man it's getting hot already got a owner operator back there getting unloaded nice fella he helped me out uh, folding up my big tarps appreciate that he lives around here somewhere close all right let me set this down give you an eye So as you can see I'm helping him by putting the uh, runners on top as he picks them up except we got extra ones now because there was some on top of the load with that weird one that was sitting on top there in the middle you know some places don't want you helping some places appreciate it so I asked him did he want me to help and he was like yeah I'd love that so you know and I don't mind because you know this is just an opportunity for me to get out of the truck, walk around, get a little exercise. So, uh, yeah, just a little look at the place. They got roofing shingles, hardy planks, um, road roofing, sheetrock, you know, all that kind of stuff. Oh, he's over on this side. All right, let me film this one more time and then I'll call it quits. He spotted a rogue bungee over there. I don't know if it's mine or not, but I'll take it. It's a pretty good one. All right, let me get unloaded here. Get back to you. 